Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nine Inning Know It All podcast. It is New Year's Day, twenty twenty three. I am your host, Josh, the Nine Inning Know It All, and man, I cannot believe it's twenty twenty three already. Last year went by fast, but here we are, starting the new year. And just like the last podcast, one where I kind of did the year in review, um, it was kind of focused on Nine Inning Know It All, Northwest Baseball Report and the Great Plains Baseball Report. This is going to be similar. I'm going to kind of talk about all three as well. Kind of talk about some of the changes that I've had to make over the years, um, and especially this year, what's going to happen. So uh, right off the bat, one of the biggest changes is the the focus on my end. Um, in the past, you know, starting about 2019, the focus really was to kind of turn this into – a business of sorts, mainly through photography. Um, that was really going to be the main thing that I did. 2019, covered a lot of games, did my usual thing. Uh, 2020 hit, obviously we all know what happened there. Only got out to be, cover 17 games, I think, that that entire year. Uh, and so that changed a lot of things, you know, because 2019 was really the year that I was going to make the change, really make the emphasis on getting to games, photographing, selling uh, photos, having advertising on the, the sites, all that type of stuff. Obviously, once again, 2020 came through things for a loop. Now, the podcast did start in 2020, and that was actually something that got things going, um, had a lot of positives, got some uh, sponsors through that. Uh, then 2021 came around, and another thing happened, and and that was just the reality that uh, – Myself, my wife, my daughters, we had to move. We had to move um, from the Northwest. It just was not the place that we wanted to be. And so uh, in 2021, I ended up moving to North Dakota. Uh, both my wife and I got jobs here in Bismarck. So so there were some big changes and really kind of threw things off. And so when I got here, uh, the goal in 2022 was to still have that kind of build a business mentality and and do photos and all that stuff. But um, let's be completely honest, North Dakota is not the best spot for that. Not because there isn't baseball, not because there isn't high level baseball, but there isn't the amount of tournaments and teams within the same range that I had in Washington. You know, I lived in Longview, so I could get up to Centralia to some of the GSL tournaments in 30 minutes. I can get down to Vancouver and Portland in 40 minutes and cover all the stuff down there. Longview had tournaments, had the NWAC championship. So the amount of opportunities is not the same here in North Dakota. And I've that was a hard thing for me to really grasp and understand. I knew it coming into it, but at the same time, I'd gotten so accustomed and so used to a certain thing that this was different. I, it took me a while to get used to it. So um, that's really the big reason why not a lot happened last year. I just didn't I, I didn't want to travel the amount that I'd have to travel right off the bat, not knowing how things would play out. So didn't do a lot of coverage. But this year, um, I've been talking with my wife because she's been pretty adamant that I, I need to decide what I'm going to do. Either I do it or I don't do it. And so the focus for, for 2023 isn't going to be to build a business. Now, Th that means a few different things. It means when I do go cover games, I'm not going to sell photos. I will take photos and I will post them, but I'm not going to sell them. I'm not going to do that. Now, if someone wants to hire me and, and so I, they guarantee that I go out there, I'm still doing that. Um, but once again, here in North Dakota, things are so spread out that that's difficult. There's a lot of travel time involved. So that isn't something that's going to happen a whole lot, if at all. So my focus is not going to be build the business. Um, I still want to try and earn some side income because it costs money to run all this stuff. I have to pay for the hosting of all the sites. I have to pay for the domains. I have to pay for the photo site that I use. Plus, once again, all the travel costs here. And, and even though North Dakota gas prices are lower than the Northwest, it, they're still three, $3 and more for a gallon. So it costs a little bit of money. It takes a lot of time. So, um, so my main focus is not going to be build the business. It is truly just going to be build the brand, build the game, promote out teams, promote out players, do what I can do. 
you know, just be a part of the high school travel ball, college baseball scene. Um, I'm not going to do a lot with major league baseball. I've in the past, I've talked about it on the podcast. I even wrote an article, I think two years ago about how I'm not really a fan of major league baseball anymore. And that still holds true. Um, I'm still not a fan of major league baseball the way that I used to be. I, I truly have transitioned to the college high school summer ball type scene, which is truly a lot of fun. If you guys have never gone out and cut, co- just watched high school and college ball, go do it. It's so much fun. But that's not what we're talking about today. I'll save that for another podcast. No, so really the focus for 2023 is building connections, building relationships out here in North Dakota, continuing the relationships that I have in the Northwest. You know, obviously I'm going to be doing this from afar. So if there's people out there who want to help and write articles and do stuff, I'm 100% open to that. Uh, that's one of the great things about like what I'm doing now with the player profiles and the season previews. I don't really write those. It's the players and the coaches who are doing that. And honestly, it makes it more authentic because they're actually answering the questions and, and being honest. So um, I like that. I'm going to keep doing that stuff. There will be stuff that I write. Uh, if I cover games out here, the photos I take, you know, they'll go up and, and do all that type of stuff, the usual thing. But like I said, this isn't going to be about building a business anymore because I, in some ways that's out the door. Um, am, I, am I still open to having sponsors for the websites? Am I still open to having sponsors for the podcast? Absolutely. Once again, that help covers the costs um, because I'm not bringing any kind of income in to help cover those costs. So this is truly just me doing what I'm doing because I want to um, and paying for it out of my own pocket. So, um, you know, maybe I'll throw the, I know I got my Venmo account linked somewhere. So if anybody wanted to like throw some money to help pay for, for things, that's great too. Um, maybe I'll push that for a little bit. But really, this is going to be just about building what I have, doing what I've been doing for years, and just continue going with it. Um, so here's some of the big things I want to do for 2023. Uh, just kind of looking at the future. Obviously, trying to get to as many college games as I can out here in this region. That was tough last year because the weather wasn't the best. Uh, Bismarck State College did not play a whole lot of home games. They had to go to South Dakota to play some of their home games. They were on the road all the time because the weather just wasn't the best last spring. And let's be honest, here in North Dakota, it might be the same way every year. There might be some good years where I can get out there and, and cover more games, but it is what it is. I know I'll be trying to hit, uh, make my way to Dickinson again this year, uh, go out to Valley City, go to Jamestown. I do want to expand a little bit. I would love to get down to Aberdeen and cover um, some games down there. Aberdeen, South Dakota is like three hours away which is a little bit of a drive, but they have some fun stuff for my family to do while I'm at the baseball game. So I'm going to try and get out to some things. I, you know, I would love to get down to Arizona again in the fall, like I did, you know, for like three or four years in a row. I don't think that's going to happen this fall, uh, just simply because of my time off situation. I, my full-time job is my priority, but, you know, I'm trying to work that around, trying to figure that out. There's a chance I might be back in Washington in August. And if that happens, I'll try and cover uh, one of the Baseball Northwest events because that's always a great spot for me to go and do things there. But um, not really sure. Not really sure what's going to do, uh, what's going to happen as the things go along. I do want to make sure that I get to um, a fair number of high school games if I can this year. Now, I also want to cover Legion. I didn't make it to any games throughout the summer. So covering Legion, covering some... Um, summer collegiate baseball would be great as well, but you know, I just don't know. It's one of those things where I just don't know, uh, how this year is going to play out, but we're going to see, we're going to see what we can do. Um, not any know-it-all. I'm going to push to do some things with that as well. Who knows what? I'm not really sure. Um, it's going pretty good right now, but I do want to add some more of my thoughts onto that site, but you know, the biggest thing for this year is just trying to adapt and change and really kind of. I don't want to say lower expectations, but change my expectations because, uh, like I said, it's just the business thing just doesn't work up here in North Dakota when it comes to this type of um, thing that I've created. You know, it worked better in, in Washington. It worked better in the Northwest. It, it would work amazing in Phoenix, Arizona, which is one of the places I, I truly wanted to move. But, 
Uh, it didn't get down there, but it, it is what it is. And so I, I hope everyone out there enjoys what the sites are doing. I hope you enjoy the articles that are going up on 980 know it all. There's been some really great ones come out the last, this whole last year. There's been some really good ones. Um, I know base, the Northwest baseball report was pretty nice, you know, going there for a while. We have get a lot of stuff going. I actually have right now 10 player profile articles in the queue. And I think I have four high school and one college one already set up and ready to go just from putting out requests two days ago. I've got a pretty good list of ones already to start. So a lot of stuff going on, get the podcast going again. I'll probably do the podcast honestly about once a week. Um, maybe try and rec record like two interviews on the same evening, something like that. Don't know. We'll kind of see play by ear, but once again, that's a whole nother cost thing. I pay to have the, the host location for my podcast. I pay for zoom to record the podcast. That seems to be the easiest thing I've found so far. Um, but it's just, it's little things like that that add up, but you know, we're going to see what we can do. And, you know, if anyone out there does want to sponsor the podcast or sponsor a site or advertise on the site, let me know because I'm up for anything at this point. So, but guys, I'm excited for 2023. It should be fun. A lot of things going on. And for me, I just hope that the sun stays out here in North Dakota and the snow melts because uh, we got plenty of snow and I'd prefer to have a little less. But with that, guys, thank you for listening. Check out the Northwest Baseball Report site every day from this point forward for at least the next 15 days. Uh, we got something new coming out every day, different player profiles, uh, team previews, a lot of stuff going on there. The Great Plains, I've already got a few team responses back, so I'll be doing some more contacting, trying to get some more. We got that going on, and and not any know-it-all. We'll, uh, well, who knows what we got coming out with that one. So thanks, guys, for listening. Until next time, I'm your host, Josh, the not any know-it-all. Talk to you guys later.